Steven. Uh, do you need off-road experience to, to travel through Africa? No, you don't need experience to hire a four-wheel drive. You do, however, need a valid driver's license. When collecting a vehicle, we give you a few tips on how to drive the vehicle. So, Steve, um, when 4 by 4 can I venture off the path? Chris, to answer your question, you're not permitted to go off-road in any national park in any of Southern African countries. So my suggestion is do not. If you can avoid it, do not go off-road. Stick to the roads, stick to the tracks, stick to the paths. And it also means that if you do get stuck or something happens, you, are, you can be found by passing traffic. Whereas if you went off-road um, and something happened, it would be very difficult to find you. So yeah, stick to the tracks. Um, Steve, on these trips through Africa, is it safe to cross borders between countries? Sean, it is very safe to cross the borders, any border for that matter. Um, we provide you with all the paperwork that you will need to take the vehicle across. Um, it is your responsibility though to make sure your passport is up to date and you get any visas that you may require. Um, but yeah, be courteous and respectful of, of the, the local people and you should have any problems at the borders. Um, tell me, do you think it's safe to go on safari with just one vehicle? Yes, Leon, that's a very good question. Um, absolutely, very safe to go on your own with one vehicle. Um, but as I mentioned earlier, stay on the demarcated routes. Um, it just means that if something had to happen, uh, we, could, we could quite easily come and find you. What would happen if the vehicle breaks down? When you hire a vehicle, you'll get a 24-hour emergency telephone number which you can use should something happen. If you were to break down, please just give the number a call and someone would assist you straight away, whether it be close by or overnight, depending how far away you are from the depot, someone will be sent out to your assistance. Steve, can I drive through water in a 4x4? Colin, yes, you can drive through water with, with your vehicle. However, my recommendation is to not go too deep. Um, a good rule of thumb is to walk the water first, check there's no obstacles in the water, gauge the depth. If it's deeper than your knees, I would recommend finding an alternative route and try and go, go around the water obstacle as opposed to through it. Will I need to hire extra jerry cans for fuel? Colin, it will depend entirely where you're going and the range that you need. Um, most of the vehicles come with long-range fuel tanks which will give you in excess of a thousand kilometers um, but it's worth checking with your consultant um, before hiring. Uh, should you need extra jerry cans we will gladly um, assist you and provide you with a couple um, but no need to hire them just speak to a consultant and make sure that they include it in your rental. Steve is it safe to drive at night? It's not safe to drive at night due to the lack of fences along the roads. One often experiences domestic and wild animals crossing the road and that could pose a problem. So my recommendation is if you can avoid it, stay off the roads at night. Do I need to hire a satellite phone or GPS for these trips? Sean, it's not really necessary to hire a satellite phone. Most of Africa has cell phone coverage should you need to contact us. However, if it's going to make you feel comfortable, please feel free. Tell us and we'll gladly organize one. Um, GPS, on the other hand, I, is one of my favorite. Uh, I always take a GPS when I travel. I find it a great tool to navigate with. Uh, it gives me an estimated time of arrival. It gives me the distance to the next destination. If I was going to take a piece of equipment along, I would take the GPS.